They are your, your collaborator. They will collaborate with you and they will help you in finding a good patent. Like if you go, if someone is very good in robotics, how a nano, you know, nano drug will be de delivered. So if one, one, one of your friend is very good in drug delivery system, you are very good in, you know, drug composite system. So you both will come together. All right. And then you will file a patent. Then the weightage of that patent, that application will be higher because you are, you know, coming, coming with a single in invention, yeah, uh, but two products. Okay, so what are the significance? As I have told you, exclusive right. So once you have exclusive right, you can exclude other from utilizing the patent or commercializing the patent or earning money from your creative product. But, alright, so let's discuss about the patent. So if you read this uh, slide, already I have discussed almost everything. But one thing that I have not discussed is technical solution to a problem. I hope that whatever the word has been written over there, you, you have heard from me a couple of minutes ago, so that you will not find it difficult. So patent is an exclusive right, granted in respect of invention, which may be a product or process that provides new and inventive way of doing something and or offers a new and inventive technical solution to a problem. So what, for what you are getting patent? For providing a technical solution to a problem. So what is important? I hope in, during your high school you have solved a math problem. How do you solve a math problem? Formula. Formula. Before formula, first you will see what is the problem? What has been given? And what you need to find? Suppose three parameters are there. Two has been given. Third you can easily find. Like velocity equal to, speed equal to, distance by time. If distance is time is given, you can calculate the speed. Alright? Similarly, you can calculate acceleration, then force, then momentum, anything. How you will find? You will first write what is given. So in order to come to a technical solution, first you are addressing the problem. And while addressing the problem, you are seeing to the, seeing to the parameter. Suppose the, you know, there is a drug. Let's get a live example, okay? I have written it down for you, especially. Let me, let me see it first. So, couple of days ago, I was examining one application. So, you know, if a person who has, you know, kidney failure, they can't consume more than one liter of 90, 900 ml of water. It's right? So what will happen if he need to take five drugs in a day? For one drug, he will have to use at least 50 ml of water. If one time he is consuming five drugs, he will have to use at least 250 ml once. So during whole day, if he is consuming drug three times, so 750 ml he will be consuming. Are you following me? So now his daily quota of water consumption is only 900 ml. Now he is consuming 750 then what will happen to him if he is going for dialysis and all? It's very difficult for the doctor. So what has happened? One person has developed a composition. What he has done? He has done, what he has done, you know that lady finger. So they have, uh, the mucus they have calculated from, they have abstracted from there. And they have made in, it in such a form, I can't disclose the correct thing, you know, because it has been disclosed to us. After talking, you know, granting or wrong or refusal, you can see. So they have made make it like if five drugs you want to consume, you can dip into that composition, that 50 ml composition. So in 50 ml composition itself, you can consume five tablets. And you know how 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 does it taste when you will add water to the lady finger? It's very discuss. So what some may find okay, it's tasty. Some may find what is it, yeah? But it's it's an invention. But someone has thought in a way that it will be useful for that problem. Before I am telling this or before I heard this, I was not aware of that. So he is the first person who has who has addressed the problem in such a way or he has addressed the, that lady finger composition, discussed composition in such a way that it can be useful. So you know, we all have different reason, different perception. 
that's why everyone who is sitting over here has a different uh, you know sense of inno innovativity so it's not about pharmaceutical itself a math faculty in SBEC, I think, some Gelkatsura Engineering College, or sorry, I think it's T Zone College, T Zone College of Pharmacy. They have developed one. See, uh, math faculty has developed one biomedical device. How? So she met with an accident, and what had happened? Her right leg had gone some, uh, you know, uh, got some injury. So after injury, she has been advised that. For not more than 40 minutes, you can put weight on one right leg. So after 40 minutes, she, she need to sit to the left leg. But when you start working, you forget that what is happening with your body, if you are dedicated enough. So she has developed a machine using electrical student, bio, biotech student, and couple of other students. So she has just given the idea. And they have developed a device that will, you know, uh, you know, send the signal to the mobile and she will sip the weight by, by vibration that will uh, give, uh, give the signal to the phone and they will change it. So this is how an innovation can be made. It doesn't matter which subject you are you belong to. Only thing you need to open your eyes, open your third eye, just like Lord Shiva and you can have an invention. Alright, so you understood. This is not about the pharmaceutical student. You have you, you, uh, this uh, you know education system. You have they have uh, thought like that. You can only file a patent on pharma and all. You never think like that. You always think like you can file a patent on mechanical event. And there are many examples. Not a single example. Look at this example. Why do you think that this left left side picture is there? I have put it intentionally for the mothers. What is the invention? What was the problem in the left side of the picture? Yes. 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 If the froth will enter to the eyes, the baby will start crying and it will irritate everyone around. So in order to protect that, a mother has invented this beautiful product. Maybe some, she, she would have started with the, you know, uh, banana leaf, Later on, we have transferred with that. And right hand side, one picture is there. That is mosaic of invention, like uh, many inventions. That is a self-driving supercar. So you don't need to go for a multiple invention. If you are coming with a, you know, this this is a this is an invention. You know that this bottle you can open like this is an invention. This is a mechanical invention. Other than that, I will show an example, very tiny invention. You can see. Okay, let's uh, see this very, very, you know, young girl. She has invented an automatic multifunctional life rescue flood hose at the age of six years, eight days. And she got Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Puskar Award in 2022. I think she, she, she did a round of applause. See, the patent number has been given over there, 366431. You can go and find, go and uh, find what, is, what was the invention. So she has done a very uh, wonderful job. Definitely, she would have taken help from father, mother, whatever. But she has thought in such a manner that we, I can go for that. So you will always be admired for a noble thought. But the only way you will get it protected by filing first to the patent office. If you disclose it anywhere, then you will not get the patent. Because once it will be published anywhere, you will not get the protection. So whatever comes in your mind, you must be thinking, I have not done my complete work yet. How can I publish? So there is a terminology, we call it provisional application. All right. So you don't need to go for complete specification, complete filing, go for provisional filing. And after that, government of India will give you 12 months of time for completing your task. So in 12 months of time, you can complete your invention, you can file it completely. Alright? Okay, who is he? My God. Everyone knows. So what do you think? Do, do, does he has a superpower to lean up to 40 by degree? I also fell down when I was in school. My mom slept. 
what you are doing. So he has a normal person has a leaning angle up to 20 degree, but he used to lean up lean up to 45 degree because of his shoes, and it has been patented in which year? See, it, it's a uh, patent number is US 5255452A. US means United States. All right, you can go and put this number in Google. You will find what was the invention. It's uh, you know. Now, what is this invention? So, I hope before 2010, if you go and watch any match, you will not find this kind of illuminating stars and bells. It has been patented in 2010. Australia, AU means Australia. Australia 2010, TD06420 B2. B2 means it's patented. So, it has been patented in Australia. And we are Whenever we are buying that kind of uh, you know stuff and bear during our IPL, we are paying a share of that to Australian inventor. What if we would have invented something like that? What if if we will invent some? Just now I thought a camera kind of thing that we will put in that and it will automatically illuminate when person with LBW, LBW. Like we used to go for the third panel review system, whether he has LBW or not. So other than, suppose what will happen if we will remove the umpire? Directly it will send the signal, catch out, LBW and all, run out and all. Can we do that? If it could be done, then it will be very wonderful, you know, invention. Just now I thought that. You go and find that. I have given you an idea. You steal my idea. I am given the opportunity. <laughs> okay. So this was very brief introduction about the patent. I am not going into legality, how it will be filed. I will tell you two things. If your idea is novel, and that idea include any technical feature, alright? If your idea is novel, and that include any technical feature, and you have applied a brain on that, like there is some inventive skill, you will get the protection. So keep in, keep in mind two things, novel idea and inventive idea. Alright? What I told? <laughs> Very good. Now, what about design? We have started our discussion with the idea. So, idea can be implemented to a design. Just like I have two phone. If I will, I will auction that in two hundred rupees you can get this phone. Don't take it seriously, okay? <laughs> so, which phone you will take? IPhone. iPhone. All right. Why? Brand. <laughs> Other than brand, it's very handy to use. Design is very slick and all. So we pay for design. If you are paying 40,000 rupees for this phone, you know, at least five, at least some amount of that you are paying for this design. But why you are paying for this design? What if, okay, before design, let's go to the, go, go to the drawing. If you have drawn better than this phone in a piece of paper, will that be called design? No, it will be called drawing. And for drawing, you will get copyright protection. Alright? That's an idea. Drawing in a piece of paper is an idea. A design will be called design only if it will be applied to an article. What? Article. Article is not constitutional media articles. Article means anything on which you can apply the design. So now you got that if you want to uh, uh, go file for a design registration, you need to have a drawing that can be applied to an article. Alright? So what actually drawing, uh, you know, design do? Design adds aesthetic value to the article. What is aesthetic value? Aesthetic value means you can easily judge by the eye. Like you told now, this, this looks beautiful, this iPhone. So you have judged by the eye. Solely judged by it. So let's look at the definition. So this is the definition. Last word, judged solely by the eye. So if madam will go to buy any earring and see purchase same 10 gram gold earring, two types of gold earring. One has 10,000, it's not 10,000, 52,000, one is 55,000. So ma'am will pay 55,000 for the beautiful design. Because that design has the aesthetic value of 5,000. So that 5,000 ma'am is paying extra for what? 
design. design. Right. So now you, you can see that, uh, you know, in, uh, especially in uh, that region, uh, uh, Ahmedabad, people are going for this, uh, you know, beautiful ornamental registration, like design registration. So the chair you are sitting, the, the, jewel, the people with jewel design that they make, Yes, there is also Yes, see, there is the example. If a design can be applied to any article, you will get the protection. If that will be, you know, original and unique. Original and unique. For each part of, uh, you know, intellectual property, we we have a simple word of understanding, you know, telling. Like for patent, innovative idea to provide a technical solution. Technical one is very important. All right. Now we'll look at a uh, couple of examples like Manis Nolotras, Dhangi and all. Now the beautiful bottles of shampoo and other, you know, boxes. This is very, you know, familiar. Captain Amita It has been, you know, registered in US design patent in 2018, June 5. So now if you are going to sell this product in market, you will have to pay royalty. So now you understood patent and design. Are you enjoying it? Yes, sir. Is it boring? No, sir. Somebody has told us? <laughs> <laughs> so now trademark. So we started our you know, presentation with trademark. So a sign capable of distinguishing for the goods or services of one enterprise from those of other enterprises. So what is the first symbol? What is the, you know, second row first? So let's tell me the tagline of McDonald. There's some tagline. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You're actually loving it. <laughs> what is the tagline of is Nike? Nike? Just do it. Just do it. Very good. What is the tagline of Laurel? Laurel, it's a you know beauty brand. Because you're worth it. So subject matter of trademark. So before telling this, let me tell you. Let's imagine you have started a company. You have registered it under MCA, Ministry of you know, com, uh, country, what you call? Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Just like you go for registration of a patent design, if you want to start a company, you will have to go to the MCA, Ministry of Corporate Affairs. You can easily go and register a company. I don't have time, otherwise I would have discussed that also. So now, after starting a company, how, suppose you are two brother, you both have started the same company, but your brother is just, he is not much interested, he is just selling the product, you know, by the same name. And you are selling a good product. So he is actually spoiling your brand value. Alright, so how will you, uh, you know, stop him from, you know, uh, stopping that, uh, degrading the brand value? So by getting a trade, Mark, trademark of the trade symbol, just like my tick symbol. Then trade name, Nike. Nike is a trade name. Now, trade sim, uh, what you call tagline? Just do it. So one for one Nike symbol, they have filed three trademark registration. So if you are going for something, so you go for this kind of trademark registration. So if any any where in India, if they are going to copy your product tagline you can file a case against them and you you can file a you know uh, reform what we call defamation like uh, he has uh, copied my invention and all so please uh, give me some amount and all you must have heard now that samsung used to uh, yeah. sue apple or apple used to sue uh, samsung so why this is happening because of legal protection if you don't have legal protection then you will not get this opportunity. That's why if you are going to start even a jalebi shop or peda shop, you go and have one trademark. It's very nominal. Less than 2000 rupees you will have your trademark. Alright. So not only brand name, tagline or logo, even the sound mark is you know, trademark registered. 
MGM, when you uh, watch any movie of, from MGM, the lion roaring sound will come. What about the sound of the tenure ad advertis advertisement? Tin tin tin, like this, na? Tin tin tin. So that is also registered in the trademark. Okay. So if a trademark application has been filed, then they will use the symbol symbol TM in their you know wrapper. If that has been registered, they will use the symbol in circle R. The same kind of symbol you would have seen in your books. In circle C, what does it mean? Copyright. Copyright. Now, there is a simple exercise. Can you find the famous trademark in this picture? Pepsi. Amul, very good. Pepsi. Very good. Very good, sir. Ditto, very good. Lux, very good. Very good. One chocolate name is there. Next time I will come, I will give the chocolate. Who will tell first? Babul. Babul, who is told? Babul is not told. <laughs> Sorry, I am just... Babul is told. Hmm? Kaya Kari. very good. What's your name? Please. That's not chocolate. You owe me a chocolate, okay? Next time. Now one one brand pain brand is there. Pain. Pain brand. Mm, pain brand is there and one uh, very famous. Everyone is consumed in the in the childhood. Okay, let me give you the hint. Pepsi. 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 So, can you recall? Mummy did a glass for this. Okay, now pain brand you have left. Please tell me the pain name. Okay, let me show you the example, sir. What you missed? Tata. Tata and Link and Bata. Okay, no problem. What is this? Okay, listen carefully. I will tell you what. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called trademark infringement. Trademark infringement. Infringement is the word legally used if someone is copying your intellectual property. Trademark infringement. All right. Hopefully, you will not pay two thousand rupees for a baby bus shoes. Okay. All right. Okay, so I didn't tell you whether the trademark should be unique. Okay, now I will tell you one copyright will be provided for, you repeat after me, original expression of idea. Once more. Original expression of idea. So how can you express your you know, idea originally? You can't, don't uh, file a uh, copyright application. Kya karu hai, kuch kuch hota hai. You will not get it. You change the word, you change the, you know, what you call it. Uh, music, then you will get the protection. This is, uh, the, you can't change the word here and there. This should be original and unique. You can't copy it. Alright. So, when I told kya karu hai, kuch kuch hota hai, for that, you know, how many copyright applications has been filed? For the lyrics, for the music, all right. Other than that, I will give you, uh, you know, example in later case. So it will give you bundle of right. If you have a patent, you have single right, exclusive right. Other can't, you can't use that. But in case of copyright, it's a bundle of right. Bundle of right includes right to reproduce, right? That song, if you want to make thousand copies of that and you want to send it in your college to the student. You can't send it without, before prior permission to the inventor. Alright? Right to translate. You have written it in 
you know, Hindi. Now you want to translate it to Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, in any language. You need to have a permission. Other than that, if you want to perform it in public, for that also you need to have a permission from the inventor. If you want to distribute, you will say, no, no, I will not earn money, but I will distribute the copies of that to the public. You can't do that event. Why? Because if you, who has invented that, who has, you know, original expression of the idea, who has the copyright, it will have impact in their finance. That's why you can't distribute it even freely. So, uh, we, we have a thing called the, uh, you know, difference between license and assignment. Do you know assignment? Yes, yes. What is assignment? Yes. What do you do in your college? That is not, that is not assignment. <laughs> Okay, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you what is assignment. Assignment means, suppose you have taken some amount of money from a friend, but you are leaving this city, and you want someone to collect money on your behalf. So assign that person, your friend, that take money from him. Actually, this is not proper example. This is uh, this is a negotiable instrument, but this is how I can uh, make you understand. You can, you will assign him, you collect on my behalf. So similarly, if you have written a, written a very, very good novel, just like five points, someone or half girlfriend or two states. Now, you are going, someone wants to make a movie on that. And he has come to you. And he will very, 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 very you know, very humbly say, uh, you know, sir or ma'am, give me the assignment. You will give the assignment. After that, he can use your copyrighted novel for anything, like for translation, making movie on that, making web version on that, and then they can do anything out of that because they have given the complete ownership of that copyright. So, if you are giving the assignment, means you are giving the complete ownership. But if you are giving the license for reproduction, then they can go and only reproduce. They can't, can't make a movie on that. If you are giving them, uh, you know, adaptation right, then only they can uh, make a movie out of that. But you must be thinking, I have given the assignment, what will be my moral right? Moral right means, even if you have given the assignment, whenever they will publish it anywhere, they will mention your name first. Second moral right, they can't change the story. If you have written a love story between, you know, uh, to uh, a boy and a girl, they can't change it like two boys and two girls. It will be like that only. So that is the beauty of moral right. So now you understood that moral right, what is moral right, and also you understood what is the difference between license and assignment. Most of the cases in high courts and Supreme Court are because of this license and assignment. So make clear, license is very narrow down thing. And assignment is a bigger picture. All right? So these are the subject matter of copyright. Literary work means anything is in written. And you know the beauty of literary work. So like uh, R.S. Salvar, R.D. Sarma, they have written a book, or you know H.C. Verma. So they will be exercising the right till their whole life. And even after death, more 60 years, their great grandchildren will enjoy the right. That is the beauty of copyright. While in case of patent, it's only for 20 years, very good. So now I have told you about painting and drawing. If madam is taking my picture, if she wants to save that picture, can I stop her? Why? Because ma'am is applying the angle like, okay, this way it will be nice, that will be nice. So because of that technical skill, the honor of the copyright of that photograph will be the ma'am, will be madam, not me. So if a friend of yours take your picture and sell it in the market, you can't stop her. Be careful. <laughs> so other than that, films. Okay. So for films also you will be getting uh, copyright for music also, choreography also. So you know, in Instagram, I, you must be scroll, scrolling for for a single song. There will be different kind of stuff, step. So for each kind of choreograph, there will be different copyright. So if in a single, you know, music, Natu Natu music, 
instead of play, they are doing hand or something like that, there will be two copyright. Alright? So for different kind of choreograph, it will be copyright. Why I'm saying this? Because uh, you know, right now people are more along the Instagram reels and all. So if you have some different type of step, you upload it, get a copyright. Maybe next time Raja Mali will come. come. <laughs> Alright, so mostly you will be getting 60 years of, you know, uh, exclusive right after the publication. In case of other right, in case of literary work, lifetime of the author plus 60 years. Okay, SICLD are nowhere related to the pharmacy, but I tell you very simple thing, if you are, you know, younger, younger siblings or any of you who is involved in the semiconductor. So what is basically happened, this is a big laptop. Before that, there was a big computer, big, you know, uh, TV, but size is increasing. How? Because of semiconductor. So, what is semiconductor? In semiconductor, only thing, reduce the size, increase the efficiency. Alright? So, you made the circuitry, circuitry arrangement in such a way that even in small, you know, chip, you can make uh, uh, a, a huge amount of dust. You know, we are into semiconductor, you know, what we call lithium ion battery for the EVs. So somehow you will come up with an idea that will increase the lithium ion battery efficiency. How does lithium ion battery work? You know? Have you seen the lithium ion battery? How is it? It's not like a normal phone battery. It will be a small pencil battery kind of thing arranged in a particular manner in cobalt nickel uh, arrangement like that. So if you come up, come up with a certain uh, you know, innovation, certain chip that will help that you will not, not have to make that kind of, you know, different pencil batteries. Then it will in, reduce the time, increase the efficiency, you will get the semiconductor integrated circuit layout design right. Geographical indication. Geographical indication will be provided to, you know, group of person who are working for a, you know, a particular thing like Tirupati Laddu. So Tirupati Laddu will be manufactured by the Tirupati Tirumala Devasthanam, TDD and if anyone in Kashmir will make same kind of laddu and if they want to sell in, sell in the name of Tirupati laddu, they will not getting it. Just like that, Dharwar Pedai. So different kind of, uh, in a particular geography, if something is very famous, Pasvina Sol, alright, Dindigul Lock, Panchampoli Ika, there are more than 400, 400 plus GIs. Now what about, what is the beauty of GI? You know, before arrival of you know European people to India in 1498, when who has come in 1498? Vasco de Gama. So before that, how how prosperous were we? Like we used to say, now that we used to sell our uh, you know spices and other than spices, also we used to sell our ration or something. What we call silk. So silk will be where, you know, it is a similar weight of gold, just like that we were prosperous. Why we were prosperous? Because of our GI. Today we call it GI, but earlier that was our inbuilt nature of innovate something. Like if you will go to the Asok Asthma, you will find there is no rust on that. How they have made it that time? Right now you find the steel item there, you will find the rust after a couple of months. How they have made it? Because when we have, you know, oral transfer of the technology, right now, MAP is teaching you pharmaceuticals and all. When there were bags, how they used to transfer to their kid? Orally only. Okay, somebody has come for the fever, give him that kind of jadi booty. So he has recalled that, he has memorized that. So we have oral transfer of knowledge. See, somehow if you develop that kind of focus, that if madam or sir, of anywhere you are sitting, you, you can observe, you can, you know, recall what you have heard. You have a beautiful mind. You can go for the innovation. You will definitely innovate something if you have, if you will have that kind of you know skill set. So this is the GI. Okay. So in this single picture, you can find multiple intellectual property rights. Like LED display of this computer is protected under patent. The design of laptop will be, body of laptop will be protected under design. The Apple sign will be protected under trademark. User manual will be protected under copyright because it's in a written format. 
and the layout of integrated circuit which makes the size of Apple MacBook smaller will be protected under SICLD R. Okay. So let's discuss about the exclusive right time span. In case of patent, you will get it for 20 years. In case of copyright, 60 years. Then your job is clear. Other than that, starting with the 10 year, then renewal for 5 year in case of design, and for trademark and SICLD, uh, for trademark and geographical indication, starting with 10 years, then indefinite period of time. Why indefinite period of time? Because once you have got the trademark, just like Coca Cola, you can exercise it from till your company exists. In case of geographical indication, also, we are not going to lose our geographical indication. But in case of SICLD, it's 10 years. While in case of design, 10 years initially, then 5 years. Also, one thing you need to remember, you know, keep in mind, you will have to renew it. Okay? Once you, you got any intellectual property, you will have to renew it. Alright? I hope you are not feeling much, much hungry. So, what is this first line? First protect, then publish. Because of this, we are unable to, you know, grant your application because of this one line. Because what people are doing, what researchers are doing, or what even students, whenever they will have any application, any invention, they will go and publish it to the journal. Once you publish it to the journal, it will become a public right. And we will not provide protection for anything is available in public. So before going, make sure you file at least a provisional application. Alright? Then go for the publication. And rights are territorial in nature. Registration will be done by Government of India. And other than that, I have mentioned. Now, we are going to the end of session, so I will ask a couple of questions and then I will show you how to file a patent. And you can use your phone when I will be, you know, showing how to file a patent. Now answer this question. Which type of IP protects the painting painted by the artist? Copyright. Copyright. Fair enough. Good. Okay. Now let's see. What protects the intellectual property created by fashion designer? <laughs> Very good. Which of this is a geographical indication? Wow, so good. How? 20 years. Imagine if Kikeda set up his own company to sell his own range of clothes. What type, what type of IP can he use to show that the clothes are made by his company? Good. Which, what is the company uh, Virat Kohli owns? Sorry? What is a subsidy part of Puma? W R O G N. Good. Yes, yes, being human. If a company develops a new technology that improves the main product, its main product, what type of IP can be used to stop others from copying their invention? Who is saying patent? And other than that? Okay, let's discuss it because it's very important. Here the keyword is new technology. So wherever technology we will want involved, it will be patent. Now I will give you an example. If you have drawn something in a piece of paper, apply it to the article. And if that is functional in nature, it will not protect it under design. So design should be non-functional. Okay? So it's a pattern. Now, okay. Can I use internet in this? Yes, sir. You, you can connect your phone to Wi-Fi or data and I'll, I'll ask you to follow some step by using that. By using that, you can file a patent by yourself. Alright? Uh, there is one thing we call it digital signature. Okay? So what is digital signature? So when you will be filing the you know, uh, patent, you will have to sign in multiple uh, documents and upload it. It is a very hectic task, right? So other than that, government of India come up with the e-signature, e-sign. 
and it will be you know registered under e mudra one is one is that and one is digital signature e mudra you can find uh, you can you know purchase it by spending 600 rupees valid for i think one year i know very sure and digital signature you have to spend 2000 rupees by using that you can sign any of the document digitally all right ye yeah, number will be provided so now you can just like this you can open google now type here ip india all right are you following me yes sir yes sir i am going to click now the first website official website of intellectual property india where under which i work click here stop me if i am going fast okay sir now you will find everything related to patents design trademark gi here itself now you go to this first one comprehensive e filing say yes if you find it do you find it yes good click over here now you can see in comprehensive e filing e filing for patent e filing for trademark design and gi you click in e filing for patent now it will take to the other window it's easy right yes sir so now you can create your user id here so here go to new user sign up here select natural person <coughs> all right what do you need either electronic signature or digital signature if you want electronic signature you you just click over here now it will say how you can get the e signature here all the guidelines and all is provided over here by going there you can go and get the e signature all right if you want to have a digital signature click over here you have youtube you can easily go and find how to get the e signature or digital signature and which is better all right so after getting this signature e signature you can create your user id and password after creating user id and password you can file a patent and while filing the patent certain forms you will have to fill okay so what are those forms yes sir can you go back and tell again sir because the okay no problem so now i will go to <coughs> so go to the comprehensive e filing you say yes when you are following me yes now yes sir now you will have to go to the e filing for patent all right yes sir now go to new user or sign up are you following yes sir see information instruction regarding new to e signature or new to dsc you will find over here now here now you will have to select what natural, natural person very good see natural person agent organization small entity so natural person all right now here after you can go and uh, you know create user id and password you can find the patent so now here after i was going to this i am going to discuss about the how many forms you need to find there are more than 35 30 forms but you don't need to get confused that okay this was 35 i got confused which to find i don't know don't be confused i'll tell you exactly which forms you need to need to, need to fill okay so these are the forms what is form 1 application. application application it means it will in form 1 you will disclose what you your address your you know uh, designation your student faculty or what so this is simple application form okay i am applying for a patent or that you are introducing yourself by application uh, by using form 
Now what is form 2? Form 2 specifies provisional or complete specification. So form 2 where you are disclosing your invention. What I am doing or what is in my mind, what I am going to do, it will be for, uh, you will file it using provisional application. And if you have done some, something, then you will, you will file it under complete specification. Now form 3, if you are filing patent outside India, then you will have to file form 3. Now you have filed form 1, 2, 3 and files declaration of the inventor. Like if you are filing with this ID, uh, Aditya Institute, then you will say I am the true inventor and I am falling under, I am filing this application under the you know, umbrella of Aditya Institution. Alright? So form 5 is declaration of inventor. But even after filing this form 1, 2, 3 and 5, your application will not be examined. Your application will be examined only if you will file form 18. So form 18 is request for examination and some fee you will have to pay. Like if you are a natural person, you will have to pay 4,000 rupees. And for filing form 1, 2, 3 and 5, you will have to pay only 1,600 rupees. If you are a natural person, alright? And form 9 is for request for early publication. This early publication will be exercised by small entity and MSME. Alright? So now, See the last line, it is very important for the inventor. If you will not file form 8, okay? If you will not fill form 8, then the name of the inventor will not be mentioned in patent certificate. You know, this is very small, but once the application will be has been filed, patent has been granted, the name of the inventor was not in the patent certificate. They are start, they are coming was yelling at, sir, I have done this much of job, but why my name is not in the, you know, patent certificate. We used to say, ladies and gentlemen, you missed form 8. So if you not fill form 8, your name will not be in the patent certificate. So fee and all I have mentioned. If you are a natural person, you will have to pay 1600 rupees for form 1 and 4000 rupees for form 18. If you are not natural person, you will have to pay 5 times more. Alright? And this is for if in form 2 you are you have 10 claims and 30 pages of specification. Then if this is exceeding 10 pages, uh, 10 claims or 30 pages, you will have to pay extra. Now this is especially for women. Okay. If any one of the inventor, like if in a joint application, suppose any one of the inventor is women then they can file for the expedited examination. What is expedited examination? So when you will file the patent, and if you are not filing, uh, filing in the expedited section, then your application will be kept on the general pool. But if any one of the applicant is women and they have exercised this right of expedited examination, then it will be kept in expedited pool. And you know, process will be very faster. And very record time you will be getting the reply and all. So that application will be kept in our you know, top, top line of the uh, examination module. So this is how, this is an opportunity for the women that you go and have some invention and get it protected in the record time. All right? What is a small entity? Small entities like small companies. Small startups. Huh, just like startups and MSME all the time. There is this act in the small entity act. Okay. According to that it will be, you know, uh, protect, you know, uh, Alright, so here you can go in past Indian patent advanced search system, you can file any patent which has been patented in, patented in India. Even you can use the keywords like, alright, so is that enough or you want to know something more? If you are interested, I can speak further, otherwise uh, I can go for a couple of questions. Okay, so let's last slide, I will take this one. Okay, why this is examination, you know, mode, how it will be examined. So examination are of two types, formal examination, technical examination. So once you will file a patent, so we will see whether all the form forms has been filed in, a, in order or not. So that's called formal examination. That's not need to worry much. Only thing you need to keep in mind, 
you keep in mind the timeline. There are certain timelines that you have to follow by, by, by filling all the forms. Alright? Then it will go for the technical examination. So we are called as an examiner of patents and design. We will examine. We are also called as investigating officer. So what will an investigating officer do? He will investigate. So in case of police, if they are investigating something, they will, they will you know, uh, submit the charge sheet. Alright? So similarly, we will issue an FIR, just like FIR. What is FIR? So in case of FIR, first examination report. So first examination report we will issue to the applicant. And in that first examination report, we will object what mistake you have made. Or any clarification. Like you have you, know, you have invented something, you have filed a patent. We are not understanding. Then we will ask you for the clarity. Because you are the person who has invented that. So we will ask for the clarity or we will file any objection. Once that objection will be submitted to the office within six months from the issue of FER. How many months? Six months. Once FER is issued, you will give it six months of time. Then once that will be submitted, then hearing will be issued. What do you mean by hearing? In, in court, two lawyers will come together in front of judge and they will argue. I am right, I am right. Okay. After that judgment will be issued. Wait a minute. Alright. So hearing will be issued between the applicant and the government examiner. Like you will say no, I have done a good job. I wanted patent protection. I will say no, this is not good. You convince me to, to, to give the patent and controller will be sitting there just like a civil court judge and they will uh, give the judgment. Alright? So once you convince the controller, I am right, and this is not like court, it's very technical type of argument. And if your invention is right, you don't need to go, okay, this is not like that. Simply you will be given one affidavit if it's required. Alright, so then a hearing will be issued and on basis of hearing, your patent will be either granted or refused. Alright, so this is examination procedure. So thank you very much. If you want to find in any platform, you can go with the user ID, Ramas is called. In LinkedIn, Facebook, you know, Gmail also, Ramas is called at the right, gmail.com. You can find me. If you have any invention, then only contact me. <laughs> I love to help you all. Okay? Thank you very much. I am ready to have the question. Sir, I have a Yes, please, sir. Uh, for example, sir, this uh, previous slide you said uh, that. Uh, yes, please. Is it standardized in case of all the countries? Like, for example, I want to file a patent in India. My friend has filed a patent in Germany or South Africa somewhere. So is it common in all the countries? The terms and conditions, what you said. Terms and conditions are different, names are different, but the functions will be similar. Not same, but similar. Like if you go for, you know, Europe, so they will say it with, you know, paragraphly uh, elementary search report, something like that. So they will have different name. Even in our also in our office also we used to you know change the name sometimes. But right now we are using this kind of terminology. Function will be same, name will be changed. How long it will take for the examination? Yes, I was about to ask. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Ask this question. This depends on the department you are filing. We have mostly four sections: mechanical, electrical, mm, uh, chemical, and biotech. Okay, so this four section, if you are filing in chemical, right now scenario is within six months you will get it. If you are filing in biotech, it will take nine to twelve months. In electrical and mechanical, you will have to keep on wait because uh, you know earlier we had huge pendency. But after we were you know, debuted in 2016, we have almost, you know, removed much of the pendency. Maybe in very, you know, uh, very soon we will out of the pendency. Then if you find a patent, it will be, uh, you know, is FER will be issued very soon. Just it's a matter of not more than 12 months. So thereafter it will, maybe it will be the faster process to issue the FER or not. Right now we have granted the patent in, I think, 42 days. Sir, so that what you said, it is for Indian patent, right? Yes. 42 days. This has been done already. You can Google it. 
But sir, why it is like that? I Means I have heard it. Yes, yes. It's like clearing my doubts, sir. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if I am filing for U.S. patent, mm -hmm. the procedure is more like uh, studentization and all. It is more as compared if I am going with uh, filing a patent in European front country or South African country like that. So basically, sir, you are asking for the timeline. Yes, sir. Right, you are. Mm -hmm. So just now I got a message from sir. How many employees are in India? So I got you that. We have very less. Okay. I will say forward. How many employees are there? See, we have 1.4 million population. But how many employees are there? I will tell you. Okay. Any message I got? So we are around 3,000 employees. But in US, it's in you know couple of. 30,000, 40,000, something like that. So because of that, we are, you know, we are lacking manpower. But the number of examination an Indian patent examiner do, it's you know more than what European and US person are doing. And that too, with the inclusion of section three. What is section three? Section three is the protection to Indian government. Like nobody can file a patent for turmeric or leaf. Because it is protected under Section 3, no one can file a patent for the same drug. Like your pharmaceuticals, I have not mentioned that example. If you have developed one antipyretic drug, like aspirin, it's an antipyretic drug, it's an anti inflammatory drug, an anti right? So, suppose an, uh, you know, aspirin has been developed as an antipyretic drug, 3000 years. 500 years ago, is it right? 1897 it has been developed, but it's, it's uh, you know, history is from 3500 years ago. So they have come up with a drug, aspirin, called anti piratic drug. Later on, someone has discovered it's an anti analgesic also. Some different person has developed, no, it's an anti piratic uh, it's inflammatory also. Will I get to give, uh, provide the patent to me? So for new use of patent, we are not providing the patent. It, it is under section 3D. So this section 3D, you know, one drug, you, one case we have heard about Novartis case. So in Novartis case, they have come come up with slight change in the structure of the drug, and they have they were asking for the protection. And the same time, Barack Obama was in visiting India, but you know it has been rejected, and the drug price has come more than you know 50 times lower. So this is the beauty of section 3. Any medicinal, you know, uh, administration method that will not be protected. Any computer model or any uh, composition, mere composition, just like one antipyretic drug or anti drug, you have mixed and told that this is earlier it was 30 mg, 30 mg drug. Now it's a 60 mg drug, and I want to better can't get that. So there should be, listen carefully, one at least very little therapeutic efficacy. You know better than me what is therapeutic efficacy. If there is any therapeutic efficacy, then composition as well as product, like any drug, will be getting protection. Even process. Like earlier, uh, you know, you are making, you are using five hours to make a drug. You are reducing the time by, you know, four hours. Or you are, you know, minimizing the waste. So if any means you are improvising the product, you will be getting protection. Any other questions? Sir, one last question from yes, me. Please, please. Yeah. Uh, for example, sir, like uh, any of our students, they are interested to select this as a career, like what you are, sir, as a patent examiner. So, like, how they want to proceed? Uh, so, if you want to be an examiner of patents and design like me, then uh, in certain uh, interval of time, like earlier, they have been in 2012, then 16, then 19. Yeah, maybe in a couple of years they may recruit. So they will issue a notification by a, a separate examination body, sometimes by UBSC, sometimes by CSIR, and then uh, they will issue an uh, you know, advertis advertisement, then you can apply for it. You must have certain qualification, like for me it was MSc, for you know engineers it's BTEC, maybe for you it's B, B Pharma. Thereafter, you will have to go for prelims examination. After clearing prelims, you will have to go for mains. Then, may, then it might be possible, they might be interviewed or not. After clearing all those, you know, uh, 
levels, you will be recruited as examiner of captains and design. This is part of government side of the story. Now you want to be on the other side of the table. Like you want to file a patent on behalf of applicant. Then you can register yourself as a patent agent. For that, you, will, you need to have a bachelor degree in science and technology. That includes B Pharma, B Tech, or MSc in engineering, MSc in any basic sciences. So after uh, applying for the patent agent, exam will be conducted. You will have to have a command or patent act. Then once everything will be done, like patent agent, the examination, the interview, you will be given one registration number. After getting that registration number, you can go and file patent on behalf of any patent. It's called patent authority, no? Some have different names, they used to file. We call it patent agent. So now, if you want, patent agent exam is going to happen very soon. We mean, this, this year, last year it has already happened. You can file patent. Similarly, trademark agent also you can file. So, only you will be able to know the beauty of this branch once you start filing the application. Any other questions, students? I yes, please. Okay, let's do it. The exam you are telling that it lost to admission test. Examination, maybe as a registration as a patient. No, no, that's not a loss of examination test. Simply, CGPDT will issue a CGPDT. Like IP India website is there. In IP India website, you will be getting that advertisement and you can file for uh, application. Not, not from UPSC, sir, as a registered. I understood. It will be under CGPDT, Controller General of Patent Design and Trademark, and that will be issued in IP India. Difficult to face the interview. <laughs> interview is a later part. Interview is a later part. And the teachers, we can work from home. Uh, after being as a patent. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can work. The only thing you have to pass the exam. And for passing the exam, you will have to write the exam. You kindly go to the IP India website and try to download previous year paper. You will get an idea. Try to download two things Inter Indian Patent Act 1970 with all the amendments and then try to find the you know, previous question, try to solve it, to get an idea. Many lawyers used to file the patent, or file this, uh, apply for this exam. Many, yes. Many lawyers. That's why the law school admission test. The test is it's different actually. It's different. And it's actually a little bit difficult. Yes, sir. I have a question, sir. So with the relative knowledge that I have on patent filing and all, I'm asking you this question. Um, see, when we have filed patents, <coughs> we have gone through a patent filing agency. Of course, we have paid money because we don't know about the sections, etc. and all. Now we got some information. Hopefully, we will file it uh, on our own. Do you think this patent drafting procedure is totally different that we need to uh, concentrate separately on other than this English language? Yes. Okay. So how do we get that command over patent drafting procedure? By writing more and more patents. That's all then. Okay. And that's the only way when you are going to write any draft any patents. Okay. Go for multiple applications. Like the similar application has been filed in, you know, Europe, US and Japan. Okay. Then you will get an idea. And you know, just like practice makes everyone perfect. So more and more you will write more and more you get. It's a never ending process. Okay. So one more thing, sir. When we uh, when we pay to our agency, only thing is we get we just give our work or innovation with all the details, the formula, the evaluation, and the report conclusion and all. Uh, later they will be drafting the procedure. Patent will be drafted, <coughs> and they will say patent is filed. And in couple of weeks or four weeks or five weeks or six weeks, they'll say patent is published. Filing, publication, and grant. How much weightage will be there for a patent publication and what will be the weightage for patent granting? It depends upon regarding what you are asking. If you are asking regarding NIRF, so there are certain guidelines. If you are going for NAC, there are certain guidelines. So it depends upon which kind of guidelines they are following. Okay. So now, now when you come to your patent authority or your own examination, if any patent is published, 
Now, no, but even if it is filed and published, nobody will have a right to take it over, right? Unless, even if it is not granted. Yes. So, once we have disclosed it to government of India, mm -hmm. it is finalized okay. that either you will use it or nobody will use it. Okay. If it will be granted, you will be the you will have the property. If it is not been granted, no one can use that information. Okay. That's why you used to file, and that's why then we used to ask the applicant go for PCT. Once you go for PCT, Patent Cooperation Treaty, then not only India, even globally, anywhere, we can't file for the same patent. Okay. Sir, uh, yes, yes, please. Request for exam is a form 18. <laughs> Sorry? Application. Application. Request for examination form 18 is there. Yes. For publication and grant, is there any difference in fees? <laughs> for granting, we don't need any fees. Yes. 4,000 we are paying. Uh, 4,000 you are paying for examination. Publication. That is enough. Enough. Uh, that, is, that is for examination. That is enough. Both for publication uh, and grant. 1,600. Uh, yes, yes, yes. 1,600 for application. So, we are taking more for That's why I am here. That's why I am here. That you don't need to pay more. Uh, they put some numbers inside each paragraph and diagram and they put some sections, numbers and all this. How do they get to know about which number to put there? 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 From that side, uh, you know, I am not entitled to do that. He is an examining authority, he cannot enter that. <laughs> but I will give you the no, no, proper no, no, guidance. Agent, they are taking 4,000, and apart from they are taking some 10,000 from us. We have done some weighted publication and grant. That's they are right. asking very less. <laughs> you got a quote already. I get around 50,000. That is for grant. That is also less. <laughs> Why we are here, sir? We are here so that a common person can file a patent. And for his idea. Yes, for his idea. And not even if not for the complete idea, if you have a hazy idea also you can file a proof application. So this is this is why we are coming out of the office and spreading this. And this is not for you that you keep it with your, yourself. You spread it. This is our only goal. Maybe sometime you are you are telling something, he will have the invention, he will make you a partner. By that means you also can get a partner. So any questions, students? Sir, I just have a question. Yes, ma'am. This is regard IP filing. We just select the category for natural person. Yes. So what is what is the definition of the natural person? How does it differ from the other categories? Uh, if I will start discussing that, today we will get that. But natural person, you are an ordinary person, natural person. If any educational institution is there, under you know, Government of India Act, that is a natural person. If any MSME and all of it, they will be considered natural person. So for you, if you are filing by yourself, it is a natural person. By Yes, it is a natural person. One last question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have information, but I want to correct it. Yes, please, yes. There are two If you are giving power of patroni, if you are giving power of patroni to uh, you know college or uh, any institution, okay. So who has spent who has spent the money on research? College. College. You have the right. So mutual charity. If you are going for any contract under contract at eighteen seventy two, then both will have the benefit. Yes, that's purely dependent on the way, the type of collaboration you have. Any other question? 
Yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, each agency will file a different price that I am not uh, well aware of and I can't disclose that because I, I can disclose what is the official fee that we are asking for. Any other question? Okay. So, students, I wish you very good luck that come up with a beautiful patterns not in the field of pharma only but in any field and try to file provisional application. At least one is within you know, five years of time. After filing a patent, the way of satisfaction you will enjoy that you can't compare with anything. So try to file. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Uh, may I request Dr. Shogarani ma'am also to join sir on the days. Uh, now, students, was it interesting? Yes, ma'am. Was it informative? Yes, ma'am. Was it useful? Yes, ma'am. Will you implement it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All yes are very strong. There is nothing wrong to think of filing a patent. I am just a BPharm graduate. I will tell my own experience, one of my BPharm students. Of this, this Aditya College is here. He has joined MPharm recently. We have done very small project, eighth semester project. Now we want to file a patent on it. Whether it will be granted or not, whether it will be commercialized or not is a different story. Now till now what information we had to file a patent, now it has become double. Now we will not invest more money on filing a patent. We will draft ourselves and we will file a patent. Of course, sir will definitely help us. So there is nothing wrong to think big. If you think biggest, you can do bigger. If your superlative degree is only till bigger, you can just do big. Okay? I want more patents, more ideas, more uh, things to come from your end as well. Especially third and fourth year students, whoever are here. Okay? Very nice. Thank you so very much, sir. It was not just an information for students, it was an information for us also as faculty members. And having hearing from a person who is in an examining authority is one more privilege and a blessing for us. It is not a person who has come from an agency where with me and sir was talking about agents are taking a lot of money. So it is not about an agent who has come to tell us what is patent, what is IPR and all. It is a person who is examining different patent drafts. So it is a privilege and a blessing for us to listen from you, having you here. Thank you so very much. Hopefully, uh, not hopefully, we'll definitely be in touch with you. Of course, without disturbing your work in a right manner for an information, effective information. May I now request our uh, final year student Rita to come forward and uh, let us have a felicitation for our speaker, renowned speaker who has enlightened us with a great information today. And uh, may I request Dr. Shobharani ma'am to honor sir with a sapling and a memento. Just a second, just a second.